What's up, you guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the top five personal finance podcasts. Um, and these were voted by you, vetted by Gym Class Finance. So that means you guys picked them. I kind of went through each of them and I chose the top five. Just so you know, number one is going to be the, um, the best. And then two through five are just, there's no order to them. They're just in random order. But these are the top five personal finance podcasts for the year 2020. Before I go any further, I just want to say, don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. That really does help me out. And let's get into these top five. And coming in at number one is my guy, Dave Ramsey with The Dave Ramsey Show. If you are familiar with Dave, um, you'll know that he is about one thing, and he's about getting rid of your debt. He does not believe in any forms of debt besides your mortgage, and so people call in um, sharing their money problems, their debt problems, their questions, and Dave gives them a fair and honest response, and it's very entertaining, and there's a lot of value in it, um, and you can learn a lot from his money show. So um, coming at number one is The Dave Ramsey Show. Another podcast that made our list is The Minimalists, and The minimalist, Minimalists are Joshua Fields Milburn and Ryan Nicodemus. They are here to help people live meaningful lives with less through their podcast. So it's just two guys talking about how they have um, started to live a more frugal life, and they also talk about just things we can be doing um, you know, to be more minimal, minimalistic as well in everything, everyday life um, that we choose to do. Next, we have Side Hustle School with Chris G. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his last name. I tried to do that before, and it just didn't work out. Um, Side Hustle School is a daily podcast designed to help you create new source of income without quitting your job. So if you know anything about me, I like to look for ways to create side income. Um, I think it's really important, and so does this guy. And he just shares um, short stories. The, the podcasts are very short of um, specific people who have chosen a certain side hustle and it's been extremely successful and so he just shares about those experiences in his podcast. Next on the list is Listen Money Matters which is a personal finance weekly podcast. Um, the podcast describes itself as honest and comprehensive and emphasizes a relatable and formal tone. I really like this podcast because it's literally just two guys on um, the podcast just talking about financial issues, talking about, um, you know, real life things that are happening, and really just kind of explaining maybe some things in finance that you might be asking a question to, you might get your answer if you listen to this podcast. I've been really enjoying this more recently. And last but not least is Bigger Pockets Real Estate Podcast. Um, this is a show, it features off-the-cuff interviews with investors of various backgrounds, niches, and experience levels, and I really enjoy this podcast because I'm trying to learn more about real estate, and that's what this podcast is all about. Um, small adventures in real estate and, um, you know, rather large um, companies that are dealing with real estate. Anything real estate is what you're going to find on this podcast. So just to summarize, we have The Dave Ramsey Show, The Minimalists, Side Hustle School, Listen Money Matters, and The Bigger Pockets Real Estate Podcast. Told you I'd keep it short. Um, I hope you enjoy those. If you have any comments about any of those, if you thought anybody was left off the list, make sure you leave a comment below. Remember, it's that simple.